What's up, everyone? I hope you all have a great long weekend. But uh, just to let you know, um, heading into next week, we're going to have some really badass feeds coming to the Discord. They're custom made, all built by, you know, me and the server and with the data that we all, you know, have been collecting over time. But basically, I wanted to show you this real quick. This is some of the first data I've been able to look at from the, uh, the VWAP differential and the volume surge. So what we're looking at here is a series of options trades that came in today. And specifically, they all have tick volumes that are extremely high. And what the tick volume is, is it's the, it's the, the volume that came in on that particular trade. So as you can see here, for these trades here for HYG, ARC, CVS, QQQ, uh, QS, IWM, VIX, Laser, um, Ford, all the big names. These are all of your uh, tick volume greater than 5,000, which is what I'm uh, filtering for. But what's interesting is that if you look and you look at the opening price of these contracts, and that's the opening price on the day, and then you look at the close column, and that's the closing tick volume. Uh, in other words, the price that the market makers or investors paid for these contracts at these large volumes. So we can assume that if the opening price is greater than the closing price, we can mark this as an opening position. If the close price is greater than the opening price, we can mark it as premium. And what's interesting about this is if you go and look through this, all of the puts or most of them anyway, are opening. And then most of the calls are premium. Or in other words, most of the calls had massive positions opened right before close when the prices were trading at a premium or have increased over the course of the day. And then most of the calls, on the other hand, that are trading at a premium are being bought or, in other words, sold at much higher prices than where they opened. And the opposite is true for puts. So if you look at the puts, most of the put prices closed below where they opened today. So for example, IWM put for 180, opened today at 467, closed at 372 on this trade, which is when they bought in. So this is another easy way to determine what the market makers are doing from a buying and selling standpoint. Um, just look throughout the market. What's oversold? What's overbought? BBBY just had a very nice run. The puts opening position and we had 6,000 volume. But I just thought this was interesting. And um, remember to check the volume search channels next week. That's where these are going to be posted. It's basically going to post um, any tick volume that is over 5,000 will be posted there so that you'll be able to follow the money in real time. You just have to quickly assess what they're doing. So if you look at the opening price, let's look in Discord real quick. If you look at the opening price in Discord and it says surge volume 10K, price 48 cents, opening price 35 cents, you could probably assume that they're going to be selling premium on laser since they bought it all at a premium. So anyways, this should help us tremendously with real-time intraday trading and chop trading and things like that to be able to get uh, market maker sentiment and what they're doing with these massive orders moving into next week. I'm going to get these and I have about 15 other conditional feeds I'm going to be setting up over the weekend. So there's that to look forward to as well. And uh, I will talk to you all next weekend or next week. I mean.